Have you ever experienced the pain and frustration of trying to open and edit a PDF? Well, if so, this is for you because in this video, I'm going to show you how to import and edit a PDF in Canva and you're going to love just how easy it is. Okay, on screen I have a PDF open. Now this is Adobe Acrobat, and if you've ever opened a PDF in the past, there's a decent chance that you've opened it with Adobe Acrobat or some other free PDF reader. And that's great if you just wanna view and read the PDF, but what if you actually wanna make edits to the PDF, updates to the content, and updates to the design? Well, right now I'm actually in the pro version of Adobe Acrobat, and even though it's a great program for certain things, it is not user friendly when it comes to updating the content and the design of a PDF. I can click over here on edit PDF and it's gonna take me into this edit mode and I can see that down here, these are all individual letters. This is a single word, so already there's problem and it's just, it's just gonna be a pain. It is a headache that I don't wanna get into. There has to be an easier way. Well, luckily now there is a much better solution thanks to the relatively new Canva PDF import feature. Canva excels at taking the complex and making it simple, and they've done it again with this feature. So let's jump over to Canva and see how it works. Okay, so here I am on my Canva home screen. What I'm gonna do is drag over Windows File Explorer, just so you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, and I'm working on Windows PC, so I'm using Windows File Explorer, but if you were on a Mac, you would just use the Finder and Mac. Same, same idea. So what I'm gonna do is I've navigated to where I have the PDF I wanna work with. I'm just gonna grab that PDF. I'm gonna drag it over anywhere on my home, home screen, and then I'm just gonna release it. And when I release it, you're gonna see that Canva automatically takes that PDF. It parses that PDF, and it's automatically building a new design under my design section it's automatically looking at that PDF it's looking for text elements it's looking for images and it's looking at the layout and it's building out a new project based on that PDF right here under my designs tab now once it's done I can just click on it and now suddenly I'm launching into that new project which Canva just created based on the PDF all I had to do again was grab a file and drag it onto my Canva home screen and the great thing was Canva was able to find all that embedded formatting in the PDF. So now suddenly if I scroll into des the design, I realize that these are individual elements. This is a text element. This is an image uh, or this is a graphic. This is an image. So now you can come in here and you can work in Canva in your normal workflow. So for example, if I wanted to change the title, I could just go and call it something like PDF import the easy way. And then if I didn't like this graphic, I could delete this graphic. I'm going to use that forward slash magic trick. So if you type a forward slash on your keyboard, it brings up this contextual menu where you can do a search. So I'll do something like PDF. I'll search just under graphics. I'll find a graphic I like. I'll just pop that out. Suddenly I have that in my design. So the idea is that it makes PDF import really easy. And now you're in the native Canva format where you're used to making quick edits. You know this is a user-friendly environment. So now you can come in here and very easily make changes and update this design to whatever you want it to be. So just a quick, a few quick notes on this. First of all, in this example, I'm using a PDF from another entrepreneur. So if you're starting with someone else's design, make sure you come in here and you make it your own. Use their design as inspiration, don't steal their design. So you'd wanna come in here and make sure you don't have any copyrighted material that you can't use. You'd wanna come in here and change some of the colors to your own brand colors, make it your own. But you can imagine in other situations where you're starting with something you created on your own, so then you're just coming in here and you're making content updates. The other thing I'll mention is that as you scroll here through here, every now and then you may find something where stylistically Canva didn't translate it perfectly from the original PDF. So do come in here, check for those things, make sure everything's as you want it, go through, make your changes, and then once everything's ready to go and you've made all those changes, it's just like you would normally do. You can come back under here, you can export it, you can choose PDF standard or PDF for print, export it, there you go. So it really is easy now that you can import PDFs directly into Canva, make the changes, work in a native Canva environment, and then save them off as a new updated PDF. So what do you think? Is this gonna change the way you edit PDFs going forward? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this tutorial at all helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more tutorials like this on the channel. And if you have anything specific you wanna see, again, you can let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, see you soon.